Hey everyone, welcome back. Now we're uh, back in our somewhat now laggy kingdoms and castles world, where hunger is still kind of prevalent, but a lot of work has been made over the past 11 episodes now, with this one being the 12th. There is a lot going on. So I need about... I think nearly 60 more houses or manors before I hit the 5,000 mark. So, I think the food supply is also going up quite a bit because I actually have no idea why, but. Let's also speed things up. Oh, there's a fire. There's a really bad fire risk over there. So, let's fix that. Good thing I caught that before that burned down. That'd be really bad. So. There's actually a lot of, um. Of food that we're losing here. And I'm not sure if this is just sort of like leftover stuff. And it's like just because there's not enough storage for it. And then in a time of famine, if everything will like, uh. Ease back up or not. But I'm not 100% sure on that. We also have all of these grain silos here, which will probably be used to fuel whatever fillet that we build in the next area. So, But uh, I think it's time to start cutting down more trees. Uh, even though we have nearly 5,000 wood. Yeah, there's a definite need of food. Like, a definite, definite need. So, I think that's just because we don't have enough, um, just boats going back and forth. I mean, because this guy goes by and he picks up 200. Then he heads back, but there's just, like, not enough, uh, transportation going back and forth to, like, fuel... The, this area so I gotta think what the best solution is gonna have to be um, On the bright side, though, we have enough stone to last for quite a while. And the, the food problem isn't a problem that I can just fix by just building more orchards. Granted, if I built more orchards over here, it would definitely help the problem. But this isn't like a an easy-peasy fix. This is something that's going to have to take a little bit more effort because we're starting to reach a point where shipping lines are the issue. So, there is a little bit of space over here, and I might be able to sneak a couple orchards down, just to kind of help out. And I may as well just throw a bunch of farms down, because we definitely need more jobs. So, we're just going to go and slap a bunch of these guys down, and I won't produce enough food, but it will produce some. Just barely enough to uh to help so because there's there's just a lot of there's just not enough food to quite go around oh sweet research um anyone that deals with food construction techniques stranger stronger sales that's probably going to be what we're going to have to do. So, stronger sails that will allow for faster ships. And that should actually increase the uh, shipping rate for the food. And that would be a really good thing to have. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to sneak some houses in to these areas down here. 
maybe. Because there's a lot of unused land that's kind of like in between these areas here. That I could just kind of slap down a couple manors. And then... Let's see, so there... There's no tavern near here, though, that would... Nope, they're barely encompassed by taverns, by the looks of it. I don't know if they're completely engulfed, though, so... I might need to remove this and put a tavern down here. And then a library as well, but a fountain first. And then a library right here. And that might help a little bit, but I don't know if that's going to be like exactly what's needed. So... I wonder how much that's actually helping out with uh, food supply. Is these guys here. Probably not a whole lot, but it should be a decent amount to actually, like, you know, support some people. So, until then, though. I think that I need to just start cutting more trees down. Yeah, I think I have more wood than I know what to do with. Let's uh, drop some rock removal down and just sort of clear some of this area out. I'm gonna make a push further down to this forest here. Because hopefully with proper expansion I can sneak in even more houses and this will allow for even more population. Which may not be completely wise, considering that a lot of the population is still having hunger problems, but you gotta do what you gotta do. There is some farmland over here that I might be able to capitalize on. Might. Um, I'm gonna use a mistake I made last episode and push a road down here, like this, which will allow me to build a couple more farms over here. No, nope, not that, farms. That's annoying. So we're gonna add irrigation over here, like that, as well as Increasing the connection, removing the cave, cutting down more trees. Ooh, look at this. So many of them are done. So many. So many. Cool. Very cool. Alright, oh, I gotta cut down one more tree before I can do that. This is not the ideal way I wanted to do this, but the terrain is kind of a little picky, and there's not really a, an easy way to... Because if it wasn't for this giant lake here, I would have all the farms in the middle, and then have outreach expansions going to the, to the other, to the side houses, so that way, um... It would be able to uh, properly maintain itself without needing to starve my poor citizens. I need a well. I don't know if I don't get a well over here. There's going to be some fire. So, I think we got to get rid of this one here and put a well down. Huh. <sighs> Uh, 
then I'm going to expand as far as I can this way with a cut through right here. So I'm not aiming to make this um, like perfect or anything. I just want it to be able to hold more food for my poor starving citizens. So I actually think that I might end up creating a little cut through, but I'm not sure. Eh, oh well, they're somewhat smart, they'll figure it out. So this definitely is not enough, but it's something. So, and that's really all I can say right now, is that it's something. So... That probably won't be enough food. Actually, it might just be enough the exposure amounts going down quite a bit so that's good um, there is so much stone being stored here it's not even funny is this an export for stone yes it is okay So, did the, uh, I wonder if the Great Library finished its, it did, improve construction techniques. Can I do anything with you? Not really. I need to add more taxes because I'm losing money. So uh, let's uh, let's ruin some uh, some people's lives here for a little bit. And I think up next I'm going to expand on here just a little bit. Okay, so I actually need to worry about having a, um, let's see, we'll do a manor here and a manor here, but then I need to do stone road there, delete that, well, followed by a tavern right here. A library here and where's the closest hospital at up there okay so a hospital is gonna be need to be down here after clearing some more trees out Should be most of them. I think I missed that one there. So we'll also hit that one and these guys. And then I'm just going to kind of chisel away up here a little bit because there are a lot of them. Oh, missed one. to do uh, probably another treasury just so I can store more money I guess I can never have enough too much money uh, we'll put a market down right here and a hospital right here and a manor there manor there manor here and there and there cut down some more trees that are in the way um tavern probably no we're good on taverns
<sighs> there we go. And that. Nope. No, oh, it did not mean to do that one there. Uh, we're also going to need another market. Probably over there a little bit. Nah, it should be good, actually. So probably, if anything, a library. And because of its location, it is not close to a... Never mind. Um, I think that because of where it's at, I might just end up throwing down a baker right here. And then probably just another treasury. Maybe a clinic just to help out with the hospitals. That wouldn't hurt, right? They're growing faster than I can cut them down. Lots of trees need to be removed. Lots of trees. Cut them down. Lots and lots and lots of trees. Lots of trees. So many trees. Okay, there's actually one, two, four. Okay, hold on. Gonna cut down more trees. And we'll do some piers going around this area here. And, oh, block rock removal. I'm gonna be able to sneak in some more orchards for use. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm probably going to have to put a well down, or a fountain at least, or something. We'll do a fountain in the middle of these ones here. There. And I think I missed a pier right there as well. So I don't know how much this is actually going to help out, but it might do something when it comes to keeping the, uh, the population fed. Because these are currently almost empty. They're a little uh, low. So that tells me that this is not getting as much food as it should be. Yeah, I mean, it's probably going to take a long time to get here. There he is, right there. And then we're just going to wrap it up with a stone road. Yeah, whatever. It's not like I haven't done it before where I have it connect through a, one of the reservoirs. Well, it seems like it's easier for them to go around it rather than to actually go through it. Unlike the wells where they can literally just phase through it. So, maybe I might actually need to do that or something like that. So that means that over up here... They're stuck going around it. That's kind of funny. Huh. Well, that kind of sucks on my part then, because I thought they would have just been able to go through it, because that's what they do with the wells. So, but I guess not. I thought wrong. Okay. 
All right, I'm also going to need a bathhouse probably. I'll put it... Actually, maybe I should like... If I do it right here, would that even work? I think I need to do it right here. And then, because I have three of the, uh, um, water wheels, I don't, I keep pronouncing its name wrong, so I'm not even going to try any more Norias or whatever. I wonder if that'll reach far enough. Because it seems that their effects stack, so if you have two of them, it can go further into land, and if you have three... I wonder if that will uh, help it go as far as it needs to to reach the bathhouse. And there we go. Then just so that we have water properly irrigated throughout all these guys, I'm going to put a well there. And then I'm also going to fill this entire area up with piers so I can continue this expansion project. And that's as far as it'll let me go. So we're going to see a ton of villagers running down here to, to help with the construction. I think my um I think I'm losing people faster than I'm actually gaining people. That's because my tax rates out through the roof, so they're not like wanting to stay. So they're all gonna build this and then pretty soon. Let's see what the food supply's at. Okay, I think I can handle a another surge of um, population. Maybe, I don't know. I'm a little uh, worried to even find out. I think I need to make better preparations before I do that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually add The problem is they're not storing food here. They're just taking it down and putting them in, like... Where are they going with all the food from down here? Are they really going that far along just to transfer the food? Wow, okay. You know, I think it's time to add a connection point between the two lands. Just so that way there's a little better of a, a way to get around. So I'm going to cut down a lot of those trees there. And I'm going to build a road going down all the way through here. And that should really help out with uh, with transportation. So we're about to find out, though. Huh. Thankfully, the largest stone supply in the entire kingdom is literally right next to the project. So, I need to add more boats that, tra that transfer food by the looks of it. I don't think that one gets food. No, it does. Okay. There's a lot of food that's, like, ready for the taking over here, but then it just gets, like, slowly gets distributed and taken the long way around instead. 
So that might be where the problem lies, is just... Hmm. Apparently the cemeteries are also filling up, but I don't believe that one bit. So... Well, down here. Yeah, that cemetery is good. That cemetery is good. Yeah, they're fine. It's just that one cemetery that's battling with the other caretaker. Uh, wait, can bridges pass through, um... The deeper waters? Cause that makes me wonder if I be able to build a bridge from here to there. That would cut off the supply line entirely, so I can't do that. But I'm going like trans, like you know, transcontinental. Just doing this would that work? I'd probably have to change the supply routes a little bit just so that way it wouldn't uh, affect those boats. But. Nope. Darn it. It really needs to be a way to build on deep water. Like, even if it's like, um... Even it's, um... Let's see. Like, you know, putting foundation down in the water or something like crazy like that. You know, I'd totally be cool with that. It's like a hundred gold or something like that to fill in. I'd be like totally fine with that. Alright, so there's a better way to get from here to there now, and it's a lot faster, so that's good. Um, and we can support 4,000 people in this village. But let's see if we can push that number just a little bit. Six. Ah, crap. Ugh. No, boy, no. No good at all. Come on. Think. Oh, well. We'll just cut this area off at five. And the rest can go to six. And we'll just cut down all of these trees again for like the five millionth time. And more roads, lots of more roads. Roads are very important. It's kind of cool to remember that there was once a time where uh, only uh, dirt roads are being used, and now, because these were considered a luxury and way too expensive, I was mostly in this area here, when this area was seen as being, like, so big, and, like, really, really huge, and, see, look at that, he's even happy, glad to see roads get an upgrade, boom, look at that, he appreciates it. Let's, um... Do a tavern right here. A library right here. Uh, and then we'll do a treasury behind it just because. And then we need to do wells right here. And then we'll just do one right there. And manners. I do. I gotta do a market too. So that one's gonna have to be a market. And 
And maybe I should put a church down here. Because the closest church is down there and they're out of view, reach now. So I'll probably just drop a church right down here. And then I'll probably put a baker right there or something like that. Just because... And the manor. I wonder how available charcoal is. Is it available? Yep, they seem to have charcoal. Oh, well, it might be a little bit of a distant now, so I'm going to add a stockpile right here and have it be solely dedicated to holding charcoal, as well as a manor right next to that and right there. I mean, may as well. They've got all the luxuries nearby, so it's not like they're losing out on anything. Although I guess there's this, the, the stone cutters right there. That might be a little bit of a noise complaint problem. So maybe not. <sighs> um, you know, I'm just going to put down some farms right here. That might help just a little bit, because somehow there's still hunger, even though there's like been pretty good expansions on the whole food distribution network. So... Um... I want everything here except for uh, charcoal. Except for, uh, well, I want half this, whatever. You guys saw what I did. Wood, stone, and charcoal. This is Dita, and we need to transport more food to Schleitzer. So Dita to Schleitzer. And we want to take as much food as possible. Wait, what? Fire has claimed a town square. The water distribution I thought was perfect in this area, but I guess not. That's a shame. So I guess I'll just add a well right there, because apparently that one wasn't good enough. Have there been any other fires that have claimed, like, areas that shouldn't have been claimed before? Maybe I just missed it, but everything looks like it's in order. So it go it needs to go from Dita and he needs to pick up two hundred food. And it needs to go to the reason why it's two hundred because the maximum these ships can hold is two hundred to a Schleiser and drop off all the food. There we go. So that probably won't do much, but it should definitely help out with uh, transporting food back and forth. Uh oh. Yes! Magnificent kingdom! This is the biggest kingdom I've had so far, apparently. So... And there's still room to grow! Let's drop a manor down over here. And just capitalize on these piers that I built, but never, like, actually built anything on. So. Let's see. Still losing a lot to exposure, but I think that's coming from over here and not having a good place to put anything. So. I really wish that they would uh, put the food over, like they would transport the food from this side to the other, but I guess that's not like really a possibility. So, 
Because if they could do that, then that'd be like super great. So what I might end up doing is putting a bunch of houses back here. That will kind of chip away, or I guess up here. That will chip away at that stockpile reserve. And these guys are colliding with each other at disturbing rates. That's great. But yeah, they are actually filling up the, uh, the granaries now with food. So hunger really should not be a problem anymore for this area. Especially with this recent addition right there. And... Uh-oh, that's not good. Looks like the recent growth spike has sort of taken a toll on the uh, total food production, though. So, that's not good. Although, but my guess is, is that it's sort of like, um, like a, uh, I'm trying to think of the, uh, like a growth barrier. Like, it can reach, like, a certain barrier super fast, but as soon as it hits that, I start losing food. But then, it, it'll gain food, and then until it hits the barrier again. Yep, see, because now it's at plus 16. So, yeah, there is a barrier there that deals with the way the distribution works. So, that can probably be greatly improved. So, <sighs> just because of the way this is set up, there's just a lot of food being wasted from bad distribution networks, and yeah, uh, which just means I'm really bad at setting up distribution networks. So over here, I might expand the, uh, the town a little bit, but maybe I'll save that for next episode. And that time of the episode once again where a screenshot is necessary that's a good one right there all right with our screenshot taken our distribution lines established our channels built our Manners constructed, our wells dug, our bathhouses are. Uh, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I mean that technically does uh does work for that word, but I'm not gonna not gonna say that because, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna awkwardly chop trees now and hope that you guys didn't realize what I was gonna say, but whatever. Anyways, uh, because no one makes it this far in the video, I have not much to worry about, so. Anyways, uh, thank you for tuning in this far, for the, uh, absolute two of you who watch Kingdoms and Castles to this point. You know who you guys are. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic night. That was bad timing for the rooster, I'm sorry. <laughs>